My name's Noel, I'm a psychotherapist. I'm here, where am I? You're in Sundance, Utah. Sundance, where they have that film festival? So. They do have a film festival, a place that is so beautiful that uh, when Mr. Redford decided to uh, to situate in some place, he picked Sundance, Utah. Well, I can say why, because I was up there earlier on. It is beautiful. You've got a place up there. We'll come to that in a minute. Okay. First of all, tell me who you are and what you do. So my name is Gary Fisher, and I am the executive director of the Cirque Lodge. We are a small adult residential substance abuse treatment center. Uh, located here in the shadow of the Wasatch Range, which is where Sundance, Utah is located. This guy's so modest. I've just been around this place. There's nothing about it that's small except the numbers that you bring in. I mean, it's it's a huge building with a small number of people, which is one of the most impressive things. Mm -hmm. But tell me about the lodge first, because okay. that was the first thing I went to, where Sundance itself is. So what's up at the lodge? So the lodge is a 16-bed facility. It is located right at the base of what they call the Cascade Cirque. A cirque is a glacier-carved amphitheater. Uh, 60 million years ago, uh, that mountain was 600 miles west of here. And kind of one of the fun parts is that we oftentimes can take our uh, clients on a hike, and if you go to the top of this uh, of the Cirque, you can actually go up there and find fish fossils. And this is one of the things we talked about, because you pioneered this here, was noticing the obvious, such as you've got one of the most healing, fantastic environments in the world, and you use it. You use it really well, and all the adventure and activity stuff you do. Um, and we were having, tell me, remind, tell people here about that conversation that we had, how that came So about. one of the things that we've tried to do is we have tried to take the traditional cognitive behavioral therapy, so simply just change your thoughts, change your behaviors, get a better result. Not everybody who comes here uh, will believe that they're actually alcoholic or addicted, but they all believe that they could be getting a better result. And yeah. so we took those traditional therapies and then we augmented them with, um, with experiential therapy. So two days a week we're on the mountain, uh, two days a week, we have a large equine program. Uh, two days a week, we have a large challenge course. Uh, I'm just going to interrupt because they, I mean, getting on the mountain, what this guy means by getting on the mountain is they get you in the helicopter mm. and they fly you up to a mountain and then you're on the mountain. That's the way it works, right? So we can actually, uh, we can access the mountain in a couple of different ways. Certainly, we do have a heli hiking piece. Uh, although, you know, what we talk about with the helicopter is it's really, um, this will sound funny, but it's really just kind of a glorified van. So the idea of the helicopter is really to get us into access points where then we can access kind of uh, some of those, uh, that inner place within us that uh, we need to get in. And and, um, and that's what it does to me because, you know, I'm, I'm people who watch my blog often know that I'm a keen mountaineer. Mm. Um, so I know what mountains do because I, I'm the one who, takes a week to climb it rather than go. <laughs> I'd actually refuse the helicopter if somebody offered me because the climb itself is what I'm looking for and um, which is amazing but then the equine therapy is really special because it's actually we were talking about this mm -hmm. it's inside which is the first time I've come across that it's actually on site inside and tell me why you wanted to have it inside and on site. You were telling me about it when we were down there. So the nice part about uh, the facilities here, both with the challenge course and both with the equine arenas, is that we do have them indoors. And in Utah, uh, we're susceptible to some pretty uh, vigorous winters and, and some vigorous summers as well. And so the ability to be able to be inside and really not lose a day to weather is, is important. Uh, you, when you think about a 30-day program, if you lose two or three days to weather, yeah. that's fully 10% of, of the entire program. So uh, having the arenas indoor, uh, make sure that we don't lose any of the, yeah. of the therapeutic time. And we're down at the second site that I've seen, oh, yeah. which is where the equine therapy is and the adventure therapy is, in the indoors version. And there's um, 50 beds here. There's 50 beds here. Yep. And then 16 up at the lodge. And yep. you've got a choice about either one. Mm -hmm. And then at the lodge as well, you've got a very um, highly individualized detox unit as well, if people want that as well. We do. Yeah. And so uh, we, we um, the programs here range from detox, whether it's... Uh, a private detox uh, through a, a shared experience. Uh, we have a residential treatment program, which is really the core of what we do. And then we have the ability to step people forward into a partial hospitalization program. And, and this place has been amazing. One of the things that we talked about, because my background is in um, the arts, as you know, I was an actor and director, theatre director and musician, etc. And you have a studio here. And we were talking about why that is. Now, um, a lot of people who are in the creative industries, for example, 
example, who then think about stopping using may uh, believe that they're going to lose their creativity mm. from that. But tell me what you were talking about, some of the experiences that you've had, because they've got a full setup for a recording studio here. I've been in it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, to tell you, as, as Noah was just saying, that you know we have a full-on recording studio, and so one of the things that we might, that we do a little bit differently than some of our colleagues is we'll actually encourage our clients to bring their yeah. instruments, and so they'll come in and be able to. Uh, this is so important. Yeah. You know, be able to play, and, and for many of our clients, it's uh, the first time that they've actually ever played sober. And I think another piece that uh, is pretty spectacular down there is is we have the ability, uh, an incredible library of songs. And uh, we'll oftentimes bring the clients in and we'll sit down and they'll pick a song that, that has some meaning to them and the ability to kind of process it and kind of really kind of dive deep into some of the things that what that song meant to them and what it might mean to their recovery and to hear it sober for the first time. So there's we're really doing some spectacular it, stuff. It really is. And I think what's really, really exciting to me about it is just talking to you about, again, just noticing the obvious, like you're in a beautiful place, mm. let's use it. Somebody's created these mountains for us. Let's actually use them. Let's take what the clients bring with them, the struggles that they bring with them, use their musicality, their interests in life. Let's use those. Let's not say, keep those out of here. We're going to do something different. So we can actually bring their, their true self here as damaged as it is, mm -hmm. and then learn how to heal from that that important aspect of themselves. Yeah, you know, we oftentimes say, you know, I I, I share this with people all the time. I, I really um, the facilities are awesome, and and uh, I really do have a spectacular, sophisticated, experienced, educated staff. But there's no doubt about it that the mountain makes us better. Yeah. Yeah, and on that, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you want to know more about it, um, check out the website where the video is. We'll put all your contact details Great. on there so people can get hold of you. I can't tell you how amazing this place is and what a welcome. Like, they didn't know I was coming yesterday, and then somebody <laughs> found them and said, you've got to meet this guy, Noel, and dropped everything just to sort of show me around. And I really appreciate that. It's been, been my pleasure. And that's what's going to happen if you come. You're going to get that absolute 100% focus on meeting your needs. And I directly experienced that this morning and I can attest to you it's absolutely incredible so thanks very much awesome. great stuff okay